We made it! Yay! Here we go. We made it to Venice after a early flight to Pisa. A train from Pisa to Florence. A train from Florence to Venice. We are here. We are here! Yay! I'm so excited. It's been a long day, but this view is makes it worth it. Wow. I mean, we could just stay here. <laughs> we don't have to go anywhere. <sighs> All right. Shall we? Yes, we shall. All right. We're making our way to our Airbnb. And we may stop for gelato on the way. That's fine. Oh, I'm so excited. It's so pretty. Where do we go? I have no idea. bridge right now in Venice at night. It's so beautiful. We just had some gelato and pizza, which was like eh, but we went to kind of a touristy trapped place. So tomorrow we will not do that, but we are starving. The gelato was really good. I got dark chocolate and like a cookie one, like chips and white cookies. What'd you get, Kels? Cookies. Cook oh, that's right. It was really good. I can't wait to eat more tomorrow. I literally can't wait. That's like all I'm excited to do is eat here. And then there's some the gondola drivers are driving out. We can't see it because it's really dark, but it's really nice and peaceful here at the moment. Getting here, <laughs> we not had so not so much fun. We had quite the experience of finding our Airbnb. It was like twisting, turning, small little roads. Oh my goodness. We're getting the hang of it. Sure. Sure we are. Sure. By the time we leave. Yeah. Here we are, just eating our breakfast. <laughs> right on the water. Oh, this is the life. What? We just watched a water ambulance go by, like a boat ambulance. I didn't think that, I didn't, just didn't think about that coming here, but obviously it's a thing because there's canals everywhere. And we passed the hospital and there's just like ambulance boats lined up. It's really cool. But this is just one great morning. They are very talented. Here we are at the Rialto Bridge, enjoying a nice glass of wine. Mm -hmm. Watching all the gondola boats drive by. Oh, that's a water taxi. That's the expensive ones we're supposed to avoid. <laughs> like the one right in front of us. That's the famous Rialto Bridge. We walked on that quite a few times today. We just walked through some shops. I got a ring. Kels got an earring. We got cannolis. Those were really, they were pretty good. They were decent. Not bad. Not, not bad. bad. Not bad for Venice. We'll see how Florence cannolis are. <laughs> what else did we do? We've done a lot. Oh, we have our tour later where we get to ride on the gondola. So that will be really cool. I'm really excited about that. Obviously. 
it's like what you do in Venice. Ears coming in. Why wouldn't it let me see him? Oh, he's parking. Parking it. <laughs> gondola ride. We're on our gondola ride. This is so cool. You what? I don't know. They don't look like they're really tippy. Like, Cause like we a tip kayak. Over. Yeah, don't say that. Don't do that. Oh, the couple that we know is like on the gondola behind us. Here we are in San Marcos Square. Sorry. Enjoying the best gelato. I got chocolate and toffee. And Kel's got raspberry. Oh my god, it just looks so delicious. Om nom nom nom. But so does mine, right? Mmm. Sorry, the camera won't focus. There you go. So yummy. And we're just enjoying this wonderful Italian music in this beautiful San Marcos Square. This is such a beautiful part of Venice. Oh, <laughs> you got the napkin. There's a lot of birds. Okay, wanna find some place to sit in the sun? Oh my goodness. Just covered in pigeons. <laughs> You always see the movies of people in like Rome or you know Italy with pigeons and it's true. They're everywhere and they're not scared of you. <laughs> but we're scared of them. <laughs> Last morning in Venice, taking the water bus to the train station. No. I think I caught it right before. We're currently in a garden um, in Verona. Verona is really beautiful, but there's not a ton to do. We did Juliet's house slash balcony and we got lunch, we got gelato, we saw the arena, now we're
flower in this garden. It's really beautiful. I don't know what else. After this, we'll probably get some pizza. <laughs> oh, it's a little <laughs> shortcut there. It's trying to scare you. <laughs> this has really nice views. Yeah, I was just thinking before we get on the train, we could get like a slice of pizza. Yeah, sure. That works for me. So here we are in Florence, and this is the Duomo. It's the fourth largest cathedral in Europe. It's amazing. I wasn't expecting like the artwork and the painting on the cathedral, but it's beautiful. Thank you. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you. You have a lot. We have a lot of students today. Grazie. Grazie. Yeah, we do. Muchas gracias. Wow. This is really cool. It's just like a little one. Yum. <laughs> Yum. I don't know, wanna go out there? I like wanna sit on the grass and eat <laughs> drink my wine. Or sit over there. <laughs> this is what I was picturing when I pictured it away. <laughs> of the production we do with Chianti Classico. If in a year we do more or less 100,000 bottles, 60,000 bottles are in Chianti Classico. This wine is very fruity, young and fresh, and uh, this is 100% Sangiovese grapes. And uh, as you can see, this bottle is very particular because it has the label and the black rooster. The black rooster is the signs of Chianti Classico region, also, this wine has some rules from the Consorsi of Chianti Classico. The most important rule is minimum inside the bottle. The eh, due anni fa le rifici tutte, non c'era. So, Perché non ce l'hai sempre questa sorsa, giusto? No, c'ho questo per... Non te lo dico io. Sembra, sembra allergica, però tre volte mesi sì, sì, fuori sì. che era un fatto di... Sì. Sembra che di cosa un anno. No, grazie. No problem. <laughs> of olive trees. We produce also extra virgin organic olive oil. So uh, we work with uh, four types of grapes, <coughs> all red. Allora, they are Sangiovese, our main grape, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot and Petit Verdot. We are the unit in Italy that produced 100% Petit Verdot wine because uh, we are very lucky just for that, not because we are better than the other one. <laughs> we are lucky because we have a very dry soil and then the Petit Verdot plant, uh, it's a kind of grapes, catch a lot of energy with a, in a dry soil and that give us a lot of grapes. This is the second winery we're at and it's just beautiful here. I wish I could live in Tuscany. Thank <laughs> you. 